Okay guys, my scamming queen is back! And you better leave her alone. Unless you're ready. <laughs> I've just played y'all, but really she is back for revengeance. So let's get straight into the drama. If you guys have no idea who Roho is, she's basically a woman who claimed to get hit by a brick by a man in Texas somewhere at some club. And it was crazy. She ended up getting arrested because... She committed fraud. She was basically scamming, false claims, etc. And she's done this type of thing in the past. I'm aware that there is an effort to silence me and that I'm being mass reported on a consistent and constant basis. But I find it absolutely asinine that I put up a video of my experience, my trauma, with a trigger warning, with the intent to create awareness and advocacy. And I got striked and have my content removed. But that same video and that same picture is all over the internet with the intent to harass, threaten, and silence me and humiliate me, and that's fine. I've said it once and I'll say it again. There are platforms that are solely to humiliate and embarrass marginalized people, especially black women, and they make it to the bank. They literally make millions of dollars off of this. But if you are a black woman who's trying to advocate for herself or other black women, you are deplatformed. You are striked against and you are silenced. I don't understand that. Like, how can people be making money off of harassing people, but we are being deplatformed for standing up for ourselves? People have exploited my trauma for monetary and social gain while I have lost everything I've ever worked for. I became a writer and a journalist and an academic because I wanted to tell our stories and I wanted to encourage others to tell their stories. I hate when people say, oh, I'm a voice for the voiceless. There is nobody who's voiceless. People are silenced. And historically, the oppressors have been able to construct the collective memories of everyone while the rest of us are silenced. And social media continues that tradition. Silencing the Past is a book written by a Haitian American in 1995, which is still very relevant. Please go read it. Um, he talks about how history is not facts, but a production. And silencing can occur through fact creation, fact retrieval, fact assembly, and retrospective significance. Nobody has been able to shut me up for 34 years. It's not going to start now. I will always uplift my own voice and others. And those of you who have a concerted effort to silence me, count your days. If anyone has any advice on how to combat these social media restrictions and culture, please let me know. Comment below. Hit me up on my DMs. I'd love to know. But um, for those of you who are trying to silence me, I just want you to know that I'm very courageous. I've done it before. I'll do it again and again, and again. So um, the harder you try to silence me, the harder I'm gonna go. This story is gonna be told, period. Although some might say that my tone is aggressive, and sure, sarcasm is definitely my fourth language, I have never participated on online in a violent manner. All I do is advocate, spread joy, and give people their flowers. I'm literally just like, 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 like. And if I clap back, it's on my own page and I do it in a clever way. So the fact that I'm always in trouble on social media is troubling in itself. Knowing that there are pages that are solely committed to humiliate and harass others and they make a lot of money. Something gotta change. Something gotta change. So basically, she made a post on Instagram. This is what it says. September the 3rd, 2023, I was attacked by a well-protected ex-military vet who clearly works and has friends in the HPD. What evidence does she have? I don't know. I haven't seen it. September the 4th, just 24 hours later, before anyone even asked if I could walk, talk, or recover, I was exploited for likes engagement and humiliation content oh my god she is so good with her words i love it i think she's playing victim i still have the bruise on my face a year later i still suffer from migraines i still have a loss of hearing and now extreme ptsd from constant revictimization since then a year later i have suffered daily harassment threats stalking, extortion, doxing, lies, criminalization, vandalism, break-ins, and I have had moved three times included yesterday. Now, if this is still going on, and if she can back this up with evidence, 
Either if she was a scammer or not, this is really uncalled for. I don't think she should still be getting stalked, people doing all this. But the thing is, she fails to show any proof of this. So where is the evidence of you getting stalked? People watch it. Are you talking about cyber stalking? or stalking. See, English is very important when you're discussing about things like this because stalking is when they are following you where you work, you know, you look out the window, they're, ha they're hiding behind a tree somewhere. Like, they are doing everything to affect your real life, figure out where you live. Do you have evidence of this or are you just talking out of your ass? Extortion. That's a big word. Do you have evidence of people extorting you? Do you have proof? Do you have solid evidence? She showed none of this on her Instagram post. Doxing. Now, that most likely be true. If people, I do feel like the harassment and doxing is most likely, most likely true. People don't like you so much. They talk so much crap about you because of what you did. Therefore, they feel it's okay to put your address out there. When you, she has kids and I think that is totally uncool. I don't think that's cool, especially you know, her kids are going to suffer from her bad uh, actions and they shouldn't. And I think those people that do that stuff should pay some consequences of that for the kids' sake. I think it's really sad that people take it to the next level. Um, she says lies. Where is the debunking of lies? Because last time someone called you out, um, hold you accountable, she's one of them. All you did was like manipulate, gaslight, criminalization, vandalism. Do you have proof of vandalism on your property? Is it your cars? Is it your apartment? Where is the evidence? Break-ins. Where is the police reports of the break-ins? Where is the proof that you have break-ins? See, there are bimbos on the internet today that just takes people's words and run with it like the wind. Where is your evidence? Evidence is everything because anyone can go on the internet and say I've had break-ins just to play victim and try to get more donations and I've had to move three times including yesterday she says if I was hit just a few centimeters higher I would have not been alive it's sad that in our community you either have to you have to log off or your pain is just jokes that is not true See, there are so many contradictions and holes in your stories. This is why people are not taking you serious. Are you willing to sit down with someone who's willing to listen to your whole story, break everything down? If I was in her shoes and I was innocent, right? And I didn't scan none of this stuff. And there was a person on the internet claiming that I was lying, I was scamming. I'm like, cool, let's have a sit down together and we'll break down everything. I'll show you all my evidence, proof, everything. Let's go through everything, all your questions. Let's do it. I'm not afraid of people like that because I've got nothing to hide. She says, the fact that my integrity is questioned by people who dogpile on a woman in a hospital gown and traumatic brain injury is laughable. I didn't start this fight. I never started a fight in my entire life. I'm not a violent person. I don't know, video evidence show otherwise, you will, you seem a little bit violent. You slapped this random guy in the face. And I know you've done some skits before, but in this case, this guy had no idea what was going on and you slapped him in the face. The proof of that is the fact that I have been a victim of brutal violence almost weekly for a year and I have not retaliated against anyone. That shows my restraint, my peacefulness and my grace for even the most evil of all evil. I plan to share every IOTA of my story and I will not be silenced. I got receipts, screenshots, records, timelines that when I share the full story you will gag. I want desire and pray there will be a trial because I want them all on the stand. And I plan to use what I've learned this year to protect those who are often discarded for exploitation or just plain punching bags for the displaced anger. I thank those who have carried me and I will do my part for survive and create change. This will not happen to anyone else. Not on my watch. Honestly, I am so waiting for this. I really want to see the timeline, the screen recordings, everything. And if I'm wrong, 
I will publicly apologize to this woman. 